Hello and good day. My name is Anthony Phillips and I want to share with you my testimony on how God has saved me and delivered me from darkness and brought me into his marvelous life. I got saved on February 5th, 2012. But before that, I wasn't a likable person. I grew up in the church, got saved at a very young age, went to church and all, grew up hearing about God and all. But then at age 15, when I was 15 years old, my mother passed away. So that took a big toll on my faith. I still have faith in God and all, but years passed and at age 18, I moved away. I walked away from God and the church. I left the church and everything and started living my life the way I wanted to. I started drinking and doing drugs at age 19. Um, I was grew to be a drunk, a drunk. I wasn't an alcoholic, but I was a drunk. I drank purposely to get drunk every weekend. I had sex with women. I fornicated. I cussed like it was nothing, like it was a second language of mine. I used the F bomb and GD this and GD that. And I didn't care who to I offended. I just cussed. And I didn't care. I had bitterness and hatred towards people who had done me wrong. At age 19, I went to jail couple of times for my own stupidity. I was into Ouija boards and the paranormal activity. I was into like ghosts and supernatural things, paranormal stuff. I said to play Halloween. I was into horror movies. I, I, the more bloody and gory, the better it was for me. Um, I live a very dark life. Um, I drank and did drugs throughout my life. Um, and God was nowhere near my interests. I, I had no interest in, in God and, or anything like that. And I wasn't going to change my life for anyone, especially for God. But on February 5th, 2012, I was in my apartment and I was drinking and wanting to do some marijuana. I was looking for some marijuana. And I had a neighbor who smoked that so went over to his house, his apartment, which was next door to me, to see if he had anything to smoke. He said he had this stuff called train wreck. But I really wasn't wanting to get too wasted. And I wasn't familiar with it, so I didn't want to take it. So I was like, no, I just want some marijuana. So I went back into my apartment, started drinking. And a few minutes later, my neighbor came running to my apartment, knocking on my door. And I opened it up, and he handed me an aluminum pipe. And told me it was marijuana. So I was like, cool, thank you. So I started smoking it. And the night went on and I am continued smoking it and all. And I'm I'm a little high and I'm feeling good and having fun and laughing and all. Then the suddenly all of a sudden my chest started hurting. And my chest started hurting really bad. And my heart started beating really fast. And at this moment, I'm scared. I'm, I'm not sure what to do. So, I was crying out for help. I had roommates and neighbor. My neighbor was standing around. I'm like, someone, please help me. I can't breathe. I think I'm dying. I can't breathe. My chest hurts. Someone help me. 
and no one would help me. So I cried out, God, please help me. For the first time in seven years, I cried out, God, please help me. And God helped me. God saved me. He came into my apartment that night and he saved me. He gave me a revelation of where my life was headed and where I would have been if I would have died. But I thank him <coughs> for his grace that he saved me from the life I used to live. I was an unlikable person. Nobody wanted to be around me. I had people who I thought were my friends, but they only used me for their entertainment. And once I became a Christian, they decided not to have anything to do with me. So I got saved, and I came to know the Lord. And my life has not been the same since. I've had some trials and some hardships, but God has been with me through it all. He has been faithful to me. He has never left me. I stand on His Word, and His Word is true. So I just want to encourage you, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, come to get to know Him. Because this is the best thing you've ever experienced in your life. Jesus is the greatest, is the greatest thing of all. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you, and he will never condemn you. He comes with you with he comes to you with open arms and with love in his eyes. To so come to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Just say, Lord, I don't know what to do. I need you. Pray what I pray. Say to God, please help me. I can't do this on my own. And God will help you. He will meet you where you're at. So I just want to get on here and share my testimony real quickly. And what God has done for me, He can do for you. So I hope you are encouraged and blessed with this testimony. I love you, and God loves you. God bless. Bye-bye.